has been um, that person's excuse from the CIA. He has something to do with them. His ongoing excuse. He took my company and then he said some nasty things to me. And he thought that I was going to fly over there and rage and bust down his door. He knows some things that I'm protected by God. That's what he knows. But he's not telling people the truth. He thinks I have mystic powers. It's not the case. No, I'm here to represent God. He doesn't, he doesn't want to believe it. He wants to believe in his fairy tale and his lust. And it's a shame that he can't just let people exist because he has an intel badge. And he's misused it the entire time. And all he's done with it is protect terrible people. Like, ter terrible people that have careers in blackmailing others with pedophilia and stuff like that. And, and instead, me, this, the person that has never done anything like that, has never done any, any crazy crimes to others, is getting, you know, harsh treatment by him when I was nice to him and shared my company. So no, they're not going to help me fly. Do not listen to them. Radiation and stuff like that can never make anybody fly. They're giving me a heart attack with this stuff, and they're pulling energy out of me. You can't pull energy out of people and pretend that they're going to fly. They're ridiculous. They're completely ridiculous. If, you, if somebody followed them around and seen what they were doing, honestly, they might do something different if you're there. They might look like they're really sincere and trying to make people fly. You'll see that they are completely ridiculous. Their whole ideas are ridiculous. They're trying to make somebody angry so they can go and be like, that was their first protocol. Make him angry so he, he'll get angry and fly to us. And then it was like, you know, hurt him, hurt him, and see if he'll do it again. You know, like, just stuff that you heard these intel groups have done before to others for dumb reasons, you know. Just torturing people when they know who the culprits were. So, just maniacal things, man. And it has to be stopped, okay? They used this excuse before. He, he wants to hurt us. He didn't want to hurt us. I don't want to hurt anybody. They're lying. I just want them to take their devices out of me and go away. It's that simple. But don't fall for it. Do not listen for a minute anymore. That they are going to make me fly. Or their machine's going to make me fly. Don't listen to it. It doesn't exist, okay? They're exploiting me for energy and they don't want me to you know have a decent life because they watched me for too long and they got overly obsessed and now they're abusing power that's all that's going on and it should not be going on people should not be snickering and having fun that a, you know a simple good person is being tortured and denied access to their existence for eight months now for nothing for no nothing they can't bring me to court not even a misdemeanor so absolutely nothing. I committed no crimes. So please, government, step in and stop this. Because as Trump said, what happened to him should never happen to anybody. It's the same thing. What happened to me should never happen to anybody ever. So if, if anybody had to learn, if this was done to me for anything, you should step in, stop it now, and be the heroes written in history that you stop such a terrible thing and stop letting these people trying to beat a dead horse. You know, pretending that their their beating of a dead horse is, is good and legitimate. And this horse is going to be alive one day and, and it's all going to make sense. It's not. They took three of my companies that made over a trillion dollars and they haven't paid me for them. That's all that's happening. That's all that's, that's all that happened. So government, stop it, please. Okay? At least stop having them torture me. That's just not fair. It's just so unfair. It's going too far. It's being sick in the head. Way sick. Too sick. Okay? Please stop it.